Okay, more on the version 8 update. I am going to drive to work and kind of make references to the new update features as I go. So there might be a lot of cuts in this video, but every time I see a new feature, then I'll point it out. Also, it's raining today, so it's kind of good to show because the radar is supposed to work better in the rain. So we'll be able to see the cars on my dash better, hopefully. Should also get an example on my way in of two cars in front of in front of me on the dash which they didn't show before because the radar wasn't hitting them but now the radar is supposed to bounce underneath the car in front of you so you can see the car in front of it and that way if that car stops you'll stop even if the car in front of you doesn't so we'll see how that works just driving along now you can tell the side view of cars is kind of skewed and it looks more like how you see them on the road than just the back end view. Which is kind of nice. Doesn't really help that much, but it's more accurate view on your dash of what you're seeing. You can see now on my dash, the, what I was talking about earlier, the two cars, you can see the one in front of this car. I don't know why he's not going at the green light, but oh, you can also see now that you see the road, it can see the street lines. You can see the new emblems it has for the autopilot with the new steering wheel emblem and the new speedometer emblem that says 47, which is what I set the autopilot to. Get around these people. And there you can see now the car that was in front of there that I couldn't even see because I was behind an SUV. The radar could see, which is kind of nice because if he would have braked, I would have never seen that, but my car would have. Okay, now we're getting on the freeway, so hopefully we can check out this autopilot, new autopilot stuff. One feature I'm excited about is when you pass someone, it's supposed to, when you pass them on the left, it's supposed to make your car go over a little bit more to the left. That way, uh, you don't, you're not as close to them as you were before. So, put in autopilot. Now you can see the new, the new labels are kind of bluish now. Shows you more that you're not a pilot. Also, it just looks a little different. It's also cool because it can see the car in front of me, or in front of the car in front of the, me. So after this car pass, I'm gonna go to the left here. And now I've switched lanes using autopilot. Passing the guys on the right, can't tell if it's getting over more to the left or not. It definitely doesn't look as close as it used to come to them, but when I look at it on the screen, it looks like I'm still pretty much in the center of the lane. Oh, I guess that time when passing the big truck, definitely got over more to the left. Let's see what happens when I pass this truck. It thinks it's a car, so it might not go over as far as the left. Now it didn't really go over too far, but I also didn't come as close as I was coming before with version 7.1, which I was on before. So I don't know. Definitely went over a lot for the big truck that it knew was a big truck. One of the other features that I'm not going to be able to test today is the sun uh, 
climate control feature it said in the release notes that it now can detect where the sun is and if it's coming right at you it'll cool down your car more because it knows that the sun's heating your cabin up more oh look at this it's telling me to hold steering wheel and it's making more of a it's the whole screen was flashing white on the corners which definitely brought it more to my attention than version 7.1 where it was just a little a little notification at the bottom it still had that notification at the bottom but the whole screen was flashing I think with this one if I wouldn't have grabbed the wheel and it would have switched off of the cruise control then it wouldn't have let me put it back in autopilot until I parked. It's more of a safety feature, so if you're abusing autopilot and not paying attention, it will not let you use it as much, I guess. Now it's saying hold steering wheel again, and it's flashing again. And I'm gonna grab it. I don't know why it's telling me that, because there's nothing really happening. It's reading the road fine, but Good to know. You can definitely see with the new uh, icon for the steering wheel, you can definitely see the steering wheel better and see what it's doing. I hear there's a lot of navigation updates that show you like energy usage and stuff and turn by turn uh, I rarely use the Tesla navigation though because I like Waze and I use that on my phone but I'll probably do a video just showing off the new Tesla navigation features for version 8 One of the other uh, features, which I'm not going to really get to try out today, is the new exit feature. I guess when you put on your blinker and you're in the right lane, like that guy getting off the exit right now, to look for an exit and take that exit. The only problem is it doesn't slow down your car. This is just what I've heard. So you have to manually put on your brakes anyways because you need to slow down when you get off an exit usually. I think it's more for when you're going from one freeway and exiting onto another freeway. So I'm at my office now and pretty much done with this video. We saw some of the new features as you can kind of still see. It looks like it shows cars turning more on your dashboard. They're not just straight on from the back. It shows the side. When they're when you see the side, it shows the side. And uh, we also saw the new icons. And didn't get to test out the new exit feature. But we did test out the passing feature, which kind of makes your car get a little bit further away from cars while you're overtaking them or passing them. I only tried it on the left, but I'm guessing it would work if you were doing it on the right too. Of course, you're not supposed to pass on the right anyways. So that's all for now. See you later.